Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and we're back at it again where we look at an Overwatch animated short and we break it down and we talk about the things that just don't make no sense. For the first episode, we looked at the D.Va All-Star animated short. You can't shoot the bunny blaster while you're in mech, that's illegal. And then the second time around, we looked at Sombra's infiltrated animated short. Sombra HACKING! But and now for the third episode, we're gonna be looking at a fan favorite animated short, which is gonna be Dragons featuring Genji and Hanzo. Now y'all know I hate Hanzo. So that means I'm gonna be nitpicking this animated short to the T and making sure I'm the most annoying person ever. But it's all in good fun and it's just supposed to be a bunch of jokes, which if you guys don't know how this series works, again, I take a cinematic and I compare the multiplayer experience of Overwatch to what we experience in the cinematic. And in this case, we're gonna be talking about how Hanzo and Genji just don't compared to how they are in Overwatch. Together, they upheld balance and harmony. Hola, 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 hola. Genji and Hanzo building balance? Not in my team comp. In the heavens. Hanzo mains don't go to heaven. Yo, I just gotta say, Hanamura look dope at nighttime. Like, why can't we get this version in Overwatch? Now, I might be the only one who don't know who these people are, but, um, who are these people? Who are People. And now the bull starts. Since when did Hanzo get lightning arrows? I know he's got storm arrows, but that's after the changes. So this is completely irrelevant for the time this got released. But, but that's not what I'm mad about. Since when did he get lightning arrows? That stuns people. Like, bruh. Yeah, that's not his melee. Still not his melee. Oh, I wonder if that's his melee. No, it's not his melee. Bruh, did you hear this man's neck snap? First of all, ow. Second of all, what did y'all do? Like, what did you do to get Hanzo so worked up to the point where he's snapping y'all necks? Third of all, still not his melee. I wish I could do this in game where I can just hold a Mercy or a Tracer by its neck while still shooting my arrows. But guess what? He can't, he can't, he can't do that. We'll revisit this curving arrow BS later, but I know for a fact that Hanzo's on my team are never this accurate to the point where they can snipe a dude's iPhone 4S out of his hand. But honestly, what did he even do? He's just out here trying to find some matches on Tinder, trying to find his true love, and you're over here ruining his day and crying over your dead. Like, so inconsiderate, man. The sweetness of victory turned to ash. This is completely irrelevant, but Hansel's walk pisses me off. Why are you slouching that much? You know that's bad for your back. Fam, you know this point is never this empty. Try adding a stalling May with a spinning Hammond and a diving Doomfist, and that'll be a better representation of Hanamura's second point. The bereft dragon's grief threw the world into discord. And he knew only bitterness and sorrow. Just like every single Hanzo main, am I right? High five! The stranger replied, You have inflicted wounds upon yourself. But now, you must heal. Yeah, I don't think the Hanzo is gonna be able to get healed because he's not gonna switch onto a healer, which the team has been asking him to switch off of her- you are not the first assassin sent to kill me. There's no shot Hanzo sensed that Genji was behind him. If I could be screaming in chat, Hey Hanzo, there's a mercy behind you! And he doesn't turn around, what makes you think I'm gonna believe that he can see his dead brother behind him? And you will not be the last. Yo, this isn't something I can even be mad about. I wish we could light up with Genji in game. This was once my home. Did your masters not tell you who I want? No way my boy Genji just said nope to an arrow shot two feet in front of him. You know what would happen if a Hanzo shot an arrow two feet in front of Genji in game? Probably miss actually. I know who you are, Hanzo. All right. Here we are, the curving arrow BS that I wanted to talk about in depth and in detail. Yeah, he can't do that. What, what do you want me to say? He just can't simply curve an air own game. I know you come here every year on the same day. Now, I got some stalker e-girls, but Genji, come on. This is a whole new level. Like, what do you have going on in your life that allows you to be this stalkerish? Do you not have a job? <laughs> now, I know he ain't thinking about shooting three arrows at the same time. Shot three arrows at the same time. You risk so much to honor someone you murdered. 
Dog, what's Blizzard's obsession with making everything curve? Also, Genji stars can't travel in a vertical fashion. They can travel in a horizontal fashion, but not vertical. Also, they can't curve. No, 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 no. I refuse to believe that Hanzo's era can make Genji fly backwards. Also, it's going into deflect, so it'll just go back to you anyway. So this whole thing doesn't make no sense. Okay. We got like four things we gotta cover. First of all, <laughs> Scatter Arrow. Remember when that was a thing? Second of all, Scatter Arrow didn't last that long. It lasted about a second, maybe two, not for five straight seconds. Third of all, there weren't that many Scatter Arrows. There was six, maybe 10, but not 37. And yes, I did count, I didn't actually count. Fourth of all, where did Genji learn to do a triple backflip somersault in the air frontward forwards like he's on the Japanese gymnastics team going for gold in the 2020 Summer Olympics, bruh? Even the dash curves, like stop! It was my duty and my burden. We already went over this. If you shoot into deflect, it goes back to you. Not at the ground, unless the Genji is aiming at the- But the Genji's not aiming at the ground. He's aiming straight at Hanzo. I do not honor him. Do we really have to go over this again? Either you get hit by the arrow or you deflect it. None of this splitting down the middle of the arrow bull bull, cause that's just doing the most now. See, if Hanzo could use his bow as a sword, that would make him cool. But he can't, so he's not. Now we got Genji using his non-melee moves. Either you use your fist, or you use your katana, or you don't. None of this kicking, you can't kick. The only hero that can kick as his melee is Zenyatta, not you, Genji. You think you honor your brother Genji with incense and offerings? Honor resides in one's actions. You better not go after that arrow. You are not worthy to stay his day! I just can't take all of this extra unnecessary stuff. You can't slide in the game with Hanzo, so what are you doing here? Also, what do you think you're gonna be doing with that arrow? You go, I got the key, <sighs> here it is. The moment you all been waiting for. You can't pick up arrows after you use them! Using the key Thanks to the cinematic, I don't have a chair anymore. You just can't turn the dragons around whenever you feel like and throw them back at your brother. Either you deflect the arrow and then the dragons go out or you take it like a man. None of this, and then you turn. I'm gonna throw my chair again. be honest, I'm still heated from the last one, but here we go again. Either you take the dragons like a man and you die, or, or you just don't shoot your dragons at all. You learn from your last sin and you don't make that same mistake again, but here, you got hit with your dragons. None of this, oh, what is my destiny? What am I meant to- No, die, dude! Die! That's your destiny. You're supposed to die. What's- what's the point of that? Who are you? No lie, I think this has been the most accurate part about this video is the dash distance. Kill me. No. Dude, and here we go again. DPS thrown because they don't want to get kills. I will not grant you the death you wish for. But can you grant me the death I wish for? <laughs> Reunited. The two set out to rebuild what they had once destroyed. My SR. And it's time to pick a side. Oh, you thought we were done? No, because Genji can't jump like this in game. Real life is not like the stories our father told us. You were a fool for believing it so. Yeah, um, you can't stand there on Hanamura. If you do, you fall to your death. Think on that, brother.
Okay. <laughs> I can deal with the curving arrows. I can deal with the dragons not killing Hanzo. In fact, I can even deal with the deflects. But when you give Genji a raid form ability like Reaper, like Mora, that's where I draw the line. Blizzard, what is this raid form bullshit? And that's it. That's everything in the Hanzo and Genji Dragon cinematic that just don't make no sense. And I was thoroughly surprised I can pause, rant, complain, and compare so much in this single animated short, where I think this might be the longest one in this series. But nonetheless, it was very fun to make because that's the whole point of this series, is just to poke fun at the things that honestly aren't correctly represented in the multiplayer experience of Overwatch, but that's the whole meme behind these cinematics and the reason why I want to make this series. I'm not genuinely upset that they're not correctly represented in the game because, no, I would be a huge nerd and not get laid. I mean, I'm already that, but we don't need to enhance that anymore. But for next episode, please let me know which one you want to see the most. I saw a lot of comments about May, and I'm kind of scared because, man, I love that animated short, but I still have to do it. So I might honestly do that one next, but who knows? But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.